Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 187 of Java for Tester series. That is try catch blocks and variable scope. So in this session, I am going to explain the scope of the variables which are created, that is declared inside the try and catch blocks. So guys, before I practically demonstrate what will happen when you create a variable inside this try catch blocks and uh, what is the scope of these variables, okay? Let me explain that. If you create a variable or declare a variable inside this try catch block, the scope of the variable will be up to that try catch blocks itself, okay? If you create or declare a variable inside this try catch blocks, the scope of the variable will be up to this try catch blocks itself. You cannot access the variable outside the try catch blocks. Okay. The variables created inside the try catch blocks cannot be accessed outside the try catch blocks. They can be only accessed inside the try catch blocks itself. Okay. If you create a variable inside the try block, then the scope of the variable is up to the try block itself. If you create a variable inside the catch block, the scope of the variable is up to the catch block itself. Let me practically show you guys whatever I'm explaining. Okay. So, guys, uh, what I will do is I'll directly create a try catch block here. So this is a try block, as you know, and associated with a catch block. I'm just uh, giving some predefined class known as exception and E. Okay, this is a try catch block syntax, right? Fine. If I create a variable inside this try block, like this, int a is equal to some five. Okay, can I access this particular variable outside this try block? Outside this try block, can I access? No, guys. The answer is the scope of this variable a is up to try block itself. Okay. So let me practically show you now. Okay. For example, if I say system dot order print ln a, okay, I'm trying to access this variable a, which is declared inside the try block. Since this particular print statement is also inside the try block, I'm able to access. Without any problem, I am able to access. What if I move this print statement outside the try block? like this okay outside the try catch block if i move this statement i'm immediately getting a compiler error as you can see there is a compiler a error which is displayed immediately a cannot be resolved to a variable that means since the scope of the variable a which is declared inside the try block is up to the try block itself that's why we are getting this compiler error guys okay we are not able to access it outside the try block so a question may arise if i create a particular variable or declare a variable inside the try block okay then can I access it inside the catch block? The answer is no, guys. You cannot even access in the try catch block also. Okay. The variable created or declared inside the try block, the scope is up to this try block itself, guys. Okay. Not behind this. Whatever the selection area is, up to that only the scope of the particular variable will be there. If you try to access even in catch block also, you'll get the compiler error. As you can see, there's a compiler error. Okay. So you can only, this particular statement will only work in the try block. You cannot use it outside the try block. Fine. Then what about the catch block, guys? Will it apply the, will the same rules apply for the catch block? Yes, guys, the same rules will apply for the catch block also. For example, you create or declare a variable inside the catch block like this, okay? The scope of this variable B is up to catch block itself, okay? The scope of this variable B will be up to this catch block itself. The block in which this particular variable got created. Up to that only the scope will be there. Okay. If I say system dot out dot print and B, I'll be able to access without any problem because this particular statement is also there in the catch block. Since the scope of the variable B is up to this catch block, this will not result in any error. What if I move this statement outside the catch block like this? I'll definitely get a compiler error saying that this variable is not findable or something okay that means since the uh, since the scope of this variable b is up to this catch block we are not able to access this variable b outside the catch block okay even in try block also we cannot access we will get a compiler error so guys this is all about the variable scope in the try catch blocks okay so that's it guys in the next video session i'll explain about arithmetic exception so that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.